Ahoy there trader and welcome back. This is the Anti-Vester Swing Trading Podcast. Let's talk about every trader's second worst nightmare. Now nearly every trader at some point has been stopped out of a trade idea. It happens to everyone at some point. Unless you happen to know this smarter way to trade, but we'll talk more about that later. So if being stopped out is the top nightmare, Every trader's second worst nightmare is just around the corner, always lurking and always ready to twist the knife and maybe wiggle and jiggle it around for good measure. In fact, it's likely worse than being stopped out for most swing traders and active investors. So what is it that can make your blood boil more than be stopped out? Let's explore that together right now. Hi, it's Phil. Welcome to the Anti-Vesta Swing Trading Podcast, where we talk about swing trading stocks, stock options, and index futures. My goal is to help the next 1,000 traders become financially independent and retire early from the financial markets by providing the right tools to use, the rules to follow, and the software to assist you so that you don't make the same mistakes that I made. And from now on, I'll be your personal swing trading mentor to show you the way. So if you're ready, let's do this. So, what is worse than being stopped out of a swing trade that you loved right up to the bingly bong of the order field? It's being stopped out and then watching price do what you thought it was going to do in the first place without actually participating in the mood. That is a trader's second worst nightmare. The I was right dagnabbit trade. And the only reason that you're not participating in it is that you were stopped out to the fecking penny in some cases. And just because your stop loss was a little bit too tight, you're a little bit too, oh, let's keep the risk under control and the stop placements have kicked you in the shins yet again. How many times have you had that sick to the bottom of your stomach feeling when price tickles your stop loss and then turns around and does the happy dance to your target without you? Now, this is one dark and bleak nightmare experience that my traders and I have not experienced in some years. Now, don't mistake what I'm saying here. I'm not saying that I'm never appreciating a loss. They still happen. What I am saying is that I have not been stopped out for years because we utilize a smart trading investment practices. Now, one that's after I explain it to you right now that I hope that you will embrace. The simple solution is to use stock options to express your trade instead of outright stock purchases and depending on where you're on the world, spread betting or CFDs. Now, stock options, if they are new to you, they're very similar to a deposit. I appreciate that this is not accurate if you are familiar with them, but for those who are hearing about them for the first time, it's a good enough metaphor. Now, like a deposit, you can never lose more than the price of the deposit, no matter how bad things get. But should we be right with the trade idea, we get a proportional benefit. We get to participate in the upside if we're right. And the deposit or the stock option increases in value along with the stock price when it moves favorably. Now, to ensure that I never get stopped out and I manage the risk on every trade like we're supposed to, and that is that I use the full price of the option premium. The stock could lose 50% of its value and the risk is fixed. Again, remember, just like a deposit, you physically can't lose more than the, the deposit. And... If the stock was to lose 50% of its value, then the risk is still fixed to the price of the option premium paid. So thus, I like that word, thus, there is no need to worry about where to place a stop loss if things aren't working out as you expect, or actually worry about being stopped out at all. Again, your risk is fixed on the price of the option. You physically don't need a hard stop loss for the trade idea. Now, because we know that we'll never be stopped out again, We get to wait and see if the stock comes back to being favorable, which often is the case with my trading process. I might not always get a two trade target. In some cases, I might get to manage the trade more effectively and close the trade for a small gain or a break even trade, depending on how things are unfolding for me. I get that optional extra. Now to ensure that I have that choice, the optional 
uh, extra, as I mentioned. I also want to have a lot more time than I practically need. Three or four times more time. So for example, my average time in trade is about 30 to 45 days. So I want three times the time that I actually need. So my default expiration is usually at least 150 days. And this gives me a backup plan. If things aren't working out initially as I planned, maybe I'm early on the trade, two or three days then I get to sit through a little bit of sideways, a little bit of a retracement, maybe I've missed time my intro. We only know these things with hindsight, but I'm not worried about being stopped out. As long as the trade does what I expected it to do in the first place, which often happens as we all know, then I get to participate in the upside. Now, if it's not working out as planned, I have a backup plan. I've got quite literally, whatever time's left on the clock, 150 days to manage things more successfully should the choice be there. So if it is underperforming, if it is uh, in the traditional sense gone past those stop loss levels that you would have been stopped out previously, the trade's still on and I've got the choice to manage it more successfully, manage it more favorably. Maybe I can take a reduced loss, maybe I can take a break even trade. My objective would move from, let's see if it gets to target to, let's see if I can manage this more successfully. So I get that choice, it's part of the backup plan. Now, of course, when you're wrong, you're wrong, you're always wrong, and you always will be wrong. But there's no need to be stopped out prematurely from a good trade idea just because the stock price wibbled and wobbled before it moved and did the thing that you expected it to happen in the first place. So this way, I will often always be early to a move, but I will never be late or miss a move just because I'm never going to be unnecessarily stopped out. Now that you know this, you will never be stopped out and you will get to truly see if your stock selection, your, your trade idea, does what you thought it was going to do and profit from the move that you expected to happen in the first place without worrying about where to place your stop loss. Now, the point is, as always, is this allows me to keep my losses small and acceptable at the same time I can not lose a moment's sleep over the usual what if I'm wrong considerations? Did I put my stop in the right location? Is I, you know, is my trade gonna be stopped out? None of that gets worried about anymore. It's all been taken care of on the entry. And this leaves me all of my time and attention and focus on running my profits. I can keep the risk small and run your profits. So I've done that on the entry with my keep the risk small and I can most of the time forget about it. It's taken care of and it f allows me to focus all my time and energy and bandwidth on running the profits, which is what we're supposed to do. Most people do it the other way around. They cut, they cut profits and run losses. And we're doing it the other way around, just by the very nature of moving from the traditional uh, trading stock and just shifting the, the vehicle that we use to a stock option. Focus all my time and attention on managing the winners to their natural conclusion. That's all for today. If you like what you heard, be sure to follow and listen to the very first, well, let's say five episodes. I'm quite literally mapping out uh, my strategy, my philosophies, and just like with today's session, the things that are odds enhancers that contribute to the consistent success that I've been very fortunate to have over the last 28 years. So thank you for giving me your time and attention and making me a part of your regular routine. Have a wonderful day and I'll speak to you at the same time next time. Toodaloo Trader. Keep in mind that futures, options on futures, stocks and stock option trading involves a degree of risk that may not be suitable for all investors. Past performance is no guarantee of future performance. Antivestor provides educational information and does not provide financial advice.